Okay, so Dr. Korn, tell us how corn-specific technique is different than other techniques that are out there now. Good question. You can very quickly and easily find out if any part of the body and structural system is subluxated and correct it very quickly. Okay. Uh, in addition, you can adjust yourself, which no other technique has as right. far as I know. Also, you don't need a table. Uh, you can adjust people standing, sitting, or position of injury. But occasionally, you may need to check them lying down, but you can do that on anything. You don't need a table. You don't need an x-ray. It's probably the, the perfect technique for a struggling new doctor who doesn't have much funds. But I'm not a struggling doctor, and, but I still find it very convenient and easy to use. Right. And you find that patients love it. Okay. Uh, one chiropractor wrote to me, says, you know, you get patients better quickly. You don't see them as much, but boy, do they refer. Right. And they love it. We have doctors that have gone from mostly insurance to mostly cash, and says so the patients love it, and they have no qualms about paying because they're seeing results almost always from the very first visit. Wow. See dramatic changes. Now, is this a hard technique to learn? You know, no, for somebody who's never done it. Not at all. In fact, when we teach the technique during the first few hours, doctors can start working on each other and themselves. And we have doctors who that night, they've gone into their rooms and checked and adjusted themselves or or their friends, or have gone home if they live locally and wind up working on the whole family. The, f the night of the first seminar, okay. uh, the first night of the seminar, and uh, Monday morning, they're ready to go. So oh. it's not difficult to learn. It's a very simple technique, but as with anything, you get, you know, it's new concepts, new ideas, right. and y people need uh, sometimes to switch gears in how they think about the body. So it's an easy technique. Uh, it's very easy on a doctor's body because we use an adjusting instrument and I prefer the arthrostem, uh, it's easy on your hands and shoulders okay. and back. Some doctors come to the seminars just because their bodies are shot from doing forceful adjustments. And my, most of my career, I, I use my hands. Mm -hmm. This instrument is an extension of your hands, but it's incredibly specific. So you need very little force. So that's another question then. Is, is there healing done on the doctor as well as the patient using this technique? Yes. Yeah, doctor can heal themselves and as well as the patient. Excuse me, as well as the patients, and also uh, because it's light force, there's no cracking, twisting, uh, bending. I had one chiropractor who used to say to me, "Ted, uh, I need a. I like a good crack. Patients like a good crack. Good. That's what it's about. Getting a good crack. It feels wonderful." So. Uh, Shortly thereafter, he started. He needed hand surgery because he was cracking people all the time, and, and he hurt himself. Right. And while he was, you know, recuperating, he couldn't practice the way he had been, and that would be a severe loss of income. So he got the arthrostim instrument, and he started using that, and he started adjusting. He loved the results, and the patients said things to him that shocked him. They'd say, "I'm so glad you're not cracking me," and. It, w it was a shock to him. They didn't right. want to tell him. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, doctors that are no longer doing the cracking or forceful adjustments are starting to see more children coming into their practice, more infants and babies. Mm -hmm. Sort of like the universe is letting them in now. Right. So you, doctors are surprised by this, how, how well the patients like it a lot. Infants love it. They even smile when it, they're being worked on. Now, what do you say to some doctors who are sort of skeptical about maybe learning a new technique and, oh, I'm not sure if it's going to work, it's just him trying to sell me on something. What do you say to doctors like that? Doctors have to be open. You know, if there's a better way to do something, I would hope that they'd be open and investigate it. Uh, there's advantages, and I, I've, you know, enunciated what they are. There are others as well, but these are main ones, plus the fact that you can adjust yourself. Uh, I, I know that whenever I ask in my lectures, do any of you know people that you wouldn't want to touch you? <laughs> Everybody nods <laughs> their heads and right. say, and maybe you live in, their area, in an area where the doctors are not that good, and mm -hmm. you want to adjust yourself. You can, and it's simple, and you'll get a better adjustment. Probably the best thing to say to the chiropractors uh, is you'll be probably the best chiropractor in your whole area. Now, do you have some testimonials now that you want to read from some yeah. doctors who have sent in some neat case studies? Oh, yeah, doctors have been sending me these constantly. Here's one. Uh, Dr. Ralph Mitchell from England. Uh, I checked myself when I got home. My headache went away immediately, and I slept like a log that night. Today I've used KST in all my patients. They love it. It's a fantastic technique. This is the happiest I've ever been at work. I feel ready to look at just about anything that I could help, and that I could help just about anyone. And this was after the first, this the first day of practice. First, wow. after the, another one. This doctor writes, another great day at the office with KST. The patients really do enjoy it. 75% reduction in rheumatoid pain, immediate chronic low back pain relief, disc relief, and, and on and on. 
A new patient who returned the next day so excited, she told everyone at her office she was pain-free, slept through the night for the first time in years, and could breathe freely. I didn't even know about that problem. I said I forgot to tell her about retracing and dreams, and her jaw dropped, and she described a full night of vivid past trauma and old boyfriend dreams. It's from Don Piccoli, D.C. So, oh, and then he continues, my first patient after the seminar was my associate with her chronic migraines. At times, she's had to leave the office because of them. Isn't that a drag in a chiropractic office? Uh, a few cranial and upper cervical adjustments, and the migraine was gone immediately. That never happened before. Of course, I adjusted myself, my family, my cat. Uh, here's one from a skeptic. I've seen this patient for a year. He came in this morning and said, yesterday is the first time I walked out of your office pain-free. Wow. I was skeptical reading all your testimonials, but the results convinced me. If you would have told me this technique was this powerful, I would not have believed you. Your technique has changed everything. Thank you very, very much, John Collins, DC. When you start, he adds, PS, when you start a new patient off with KST, they just think that all chiropractic has such instant results. I used to cringe a bit when difficult cases would come in. Now it's bring them on. The, the tougher, the better. <laughs> uh, Dr. Bruce King in Texas, we're getting so used to superior results that it just seems normal now. Many of the chronic patients that had reached a plateau in their care are now making significant forward progress. Retracing is a major issue now, which is a good, a good issue right. to have. Uh, that was uh, David Lundquist, TC. Patient woke up with blurred vision in one eye and had made an appointment with the ophthalmologist. I adjusted the sphenoid. Blurry vision went away immediately. He canceled his other appointment. Adjusted a lady complaining of an earache for two weeks. Pain relieved immediately after temporal and TMJ cleared. Uh, Rick Mbanta, DC. Six-month-old boy with upper GI problems, blood in stool, inconsolable crying, etc. Had been through the medical ringer with diagnostic testing, meds, and discussing surgery. The at her wit's end mother brought him in as a last resort. I found some mid and lower thoracics as well as sacrum and adjusted him with the arthrostem. The child hasn't had any symptoms since his first adjustment. I checked him yesterday and today and he only needed one or two thoracics adjusted. Uh, this is from Pete Cohen, DC. New patient, Mayo Clinic, told her it was in her head. I told her that they were right. They just didn't know where in her head. <laughs> she came in with headaches, numbness, and tingling in her fingers, low back pain, arthritis, asthma, neck pain, fatigue, and lack of concentration. Actually, there was much more, but that's enough for now. When she left, her posture was greatly improved. All outward signs and symptoms were gone. Her eyes were the same size they weren't before. She and those that brought her were floored. Wow. So this is just some of them. I, I can go on and on. I just want to do one more. This is from... Uh, Russ Smith, it's really cool. A six-month-old girl who screamed any time her feet touched the ground or someone touched her feet. Her feet were stone cold. The baby w had not begun scooting or crawling yet. I used KST on the baby Monday. Wednesday, the mother came in worshiping the ground I walk on. The baby's feet are warm and pink. She likes to stand on her feet and puts them down on the ground, started scooting, and began the early phases of crawling, which she had not done to date. Wow. So these are the kind of things that it's doctors who've been in practice for many years and know stuff, and many of them are excellent doctors, now all these chronic people that they had their, they're pulling their hair out about are starting right. to get incredible responses. And you feel, and you really do, as Dr. Mitchell had said uh, earlier, you really do like, feel like you can handle anything. Right. Bring them on, the tougher the better. And because the doctors are now detectives. You're searching. You're not just mm -hmm. doing the same old thing with everybody. You're searching. You're ser right. You know that there's a problem. You keep looking. You keep asking. And you discover stuff. And now many of the doctors that took the seminars are getting back to us, getting, putting stuff on the forum, uh, on the website, and writing to me and teaching me things that they've seen. That's great. So it's a great thing because and we're all learning together. And the technique has developed beautifully and is continuing to grow. Popula popularity is, is growing greatly with it. Now we're almost out of time, so why don't you tell us, for people watching right now, how can they can learn more information about how to maybe attend one of your seminars so they can come and learn this in person from you? Just go to tedcorinseminars.com or call us at 800-537-3001. We initially were only going to have the seminars in Pennsylvania, and we actually started taking it on the road. So uh, call us or go on the website, and you can register that way, or just uh, let us know if you have any questions. Right. Thanks, Ted, for being on the show. I appreciate it. We come back on in the future. I'd love it. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Ted. Thanks.